Welcome to Barley Forge. My name is T. And I'm Jim. As we promised, July was going to bring some change. And one of those big changes coming is now the Barley Forge series. Jim, tell me a little bit about this series. Uh, what we're going to be doing is uh, uh, using alcohol, some kind of alcohol product, booze, you know, and we're going to have some kind of food item. So it's it's a pairing or, you know, maybe maybe one day we'll be cooking with beer or uh, uh, some something like that. Today we are going to be doing floats. Uh, Boost not, floats, as we'll call them. Right. So it's like a root beer float, which I'm sure you all know as a kid, uh, but we are going to be using booze. So this is an adult version of the float. Right. So this is rootless, technically speaking. Right. right. So I want you <laughs> we're, to think we're, about... We're not grounded into anything right now. Too. I want you to think about a cooking series, but with the best ingredients. So we're going to be using all the ingredients you could possibly use in alcoholic products, and we're going to be forging new products uh, using those products. So it should be pretty fun. Right. Well, we might have some hits. We might have some failures, but that's what we're going to find out. All right. This well, series. we're going to start, again, with, uh, we're calling them boost loads, yeah? Boost loads. All right, well, we're going to start with everybody's favorite, guys. We're going to use White Claw. Ooh, watch yourself. It's the Claw. <laughs> Ooh, the Claw's coming at you. This is a mango White Claw at 5%. What we're going to do is, Jim, you want to grab yours? We're going to end up making our first booze float, which will be a mango 5% uh, White Claw. Uh huh. Which, by the way, we uh, can't stand here. We don't drink those seltzer things here. But uh, to make everybody happy, we figured that you know the seltzer would be fun to make it with, and we're going to pair that with. We're, we're trying to get the chick vote here. <laughs> we're going to pair that with Berry Rainbow Sherbet from Dryers. Dryers. So we try to stay with some national brands so that you guys can go out and make these or re replicate these on your own. Right. Uh, so we have these cups. We have our spoon so we can enjoy this beverage, and we have our ice cream. So, Jim, you want to get the scoop? Well, first I want to know, is it sherbet, sherbet? What is it? What's the correct yeah, pronunciation? It's it, French, I think, right? Is it, is it like tomato and tomato? Or I guess it, it depends on what part of the country you're from, right? All right. Well, in this part of the country, what is it? I'm going sherbet. I'm sorry. I got to go sherbet. We're, sherbet. We're fancy as <laughs> here on the workshop. So. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Bouge. Bouge. All right, let's get to it. <laughs> if you guys watch the camera above, you'll notice us also scooping and doing all that great stuff. I'm going to start. By the way, I found this interesting theory. All right, so I got my ice cream balled up. First thing we want to do is, with all floats, you want to add your beverage. And unfortunately, our beverage today is going to be White Claw. Looks very clear to you. Uh, it says it's pure. All right, so let's start out with the look here. Um, <laughs> surprisingly enough, we're getting a pretty good head after we added the ice cream. Yeah, what do you think? Well, I haven't gotten there yet, T, but uh, looking at yours, it uh, does look pretty foamy. It smells absolutely berry. Which, you know, you might kind of expect if you've ever had a root beer float. It, uh, it foams up a lot too from the carbonation and stuff. All right. So I've got a lovely pink hue going on after the ice cream starts to break down a little bit. Uh, as I explained before, the smell is, the smell is absolutely fruity. Yeah, it's not too bad. It's um, what you might expect, some uh, berry, berry fruitiness uh, from the uh, sherbet. You know, uh, sherbet, sherbet, whatever. Let's taste it. Sherbet. Oh yeah, it's super fruity. It's actually kind of refreshing. You know, we're yeah, in California. it actually is. It's uh, yeah. Uh, if you've watched some of our previous episodes, we're hitting the the hot months here, and it's uh, the studio here is on the uh, second, second floor. floor. So it really is the workshop forge here. It is absolutely delicious. Mm. I'm going to go ahead and take a swallow because I think maybe just enough of that ice cream is broke down in there. Actually, I did the reverse. I uh, was drinking first, and now I'm going to have the 
the sherbet. I, I think that if you're the person who doesn't like beer flavors or the mm. flavor of beer, uh, and you're looking for a boozy float, uh, at 5%, this White Claw is definitely going to do the trick. Uh, we went with the Berry Rainbow Sherbert. You could probably do just your standard Sherbert. Uh, Dryers is a national brand, so you can find that right. uh, in your grocer. <laughs> Guys, we haven't ever figured out a name for this one, so if you want to put some comments below about what we're going to name this. The uh, Rainbow Claw. The <laughs> Rainbow Claw. We're going to go ahead and break screen. We'll be back, and we're going we're gonna to start to make the next one. See you soon. So we're going to move on to our next booze float. Uh, in this case, what are we using? Uh, we are using Flying Ember's uh, Dark Cherry Kombucha. Kombucha. So this Kombucha. is a 7.2%. Kombucha. Flying Ember's. Yeah, it actually comes in quite strong. So, yeah. Flying Ember's is out of Ojai, California. Um, right. And, you know, uh, uh, this will be good uh, because the kombucha is, is really good for your... Uh, intestines and your stomach and stuff so you know pairing with the ice cream and stuff you know you know could could get an upset tummy here but not not after having this with you all know, the probiotics and everything. <laughs> i've so. never read the back of uh, a kombucha can but live probiotics or uh, live probiotics antioxidants usda organic adaptogens i don't know what those are yeah gluten-free non-gmo vegan and all things keto we're about see, to see what did i say about upscaling the audience the malt liquor <laughs> the malt liquor people aren't going to know what any of that stuff is <laughs> the guys but... the old knee, right? <laughs> yeah. let's go ahead and uh what are we pairing this with we are pairing it with the ben and jerry's cherry garcia which is uh at one point i think it was their number one flavor and kind of really kind of put them on the map or whatever. So. so I guess in 2020, it's funny you mentioned that, Cherry Garcia was the second favorite. Um, well, now we've kind of upscaled to being half-baked, you know? So <laughs> the, the, the older uh, deadheads have, you know, been replaced by the newer uh, newer I, crowd, newer I young I totally generation. get the idea that, like, Jerry, or Ben and Jerry, Rather, our potheads, man. I, I don't think get this <laughs> idea because half baked, Cherry Garcia. It's, it's, it's a trend here. You mm. know what I mean? I'm not gonna comment. <laughs> <laughs> let's right. let's get started. So uh, first thing first, guys, is always when you're making a float, it's critical that you uh, you pour the fluid in first. Jim's gonna glove up because he's gonna be touching our garnish that we're actually going to be using today. And I think we'll be using cherries to garnish this with, correct Jim? Well, you know, I wanted to, you know, garnish it with something more towards the Cherry Garcia crowd, but you know, this being a somewhat family friendly show. So you're saying instead of mint, we could use... <laughs> <laughs> so no, we're gonna, we're just gonna stick with, with, with cherries and uh, go from there. Guys, if you've never had Cherry Garcia ice cream, it's like a vanilla ice cream with like whole cherries in it, and it has some shaved chocolate or right. say shaved fudge rather in it. Right, just to give it a little bit of you know sweetness and bouginess, I'd say. There's yours, Jim. And uh, again, we're gonna go ahead and garnish See? these with some cherries. That's Man, beautiful. Fancy as f there, guys. There's your garnish me. There's your cherry there, tea. Isn't that fancy? That is totally fancy. Here's your drink, Jim. All right. All right. So uh, let's start with the smell here, Jim. I'm gonna mix mine up just a little bit more. I can tell you right off the tip, I am smelling tons of cherry. I do get that twist of lime. Uh, this is the black cherry with the twist lime flying embers kombucha again at 7.2 percent zero sugars zero carbs and a whole bunch of apparently healthy stuff right so this is a health food drink for you guys i i don't really smell cherry but i do smell a lot of fruitiness uh of course when i think of cherry is not one of my favorite flavors cherry when i think of cherries and and drinks a lot of times it's kind of an artificial it kind of reminds me of cough syrup, and so I really usually do not like cherry items. So, hmm. what but was I, that Vix? What was the uh, the Vix one we always got given as kids mm -hmm. or whatever? The cherry That's, flavor one that never tastes like cherry. But it does not taste like that at all. No, this is this is really good. 
the smell is kind of weird. So I do get a little cherry. I get a little twist. But, I'm, uh, I'm, getting a, I'm getting a little bit of the vanilla because of the ice cream, of course. Um, hmm. Let's taste. Well, I already did. Sorry. <laughs> I, was, I was about to move on to the taste part. but You know, I think you and Jesse are the two cheaters at this whole game. Huh? Well. So right mm. out the gate, it's tart. Yes, the uh, the kombucha is is tart. Um, I do get a little bit of the the lime that it has in it. Not too much. It's not overbearing. Um, I'm gonna try the ice cream now. I think yeah, it's, it's I think tart it's, at first, but it's delicious. I think it's refreshing. I think the ice cream kind of takes off some of the. Because uh, I had this uh, by itself in the can, and it was, it it hits you up front a little bit at first, almost kind of like a, um, uh, like a sour beer or whatever. Like it goes there or something. Yeah, right? it goes there or something. Yeah. At seven point two percent, I'm not getting any booze off of it either, which no. is kind of a unique thing. But this will definitely get you hammered if you eat enough of mm. these. It probably gets sick. There's a lot of sugar and stuff in there as well. Well, no, you got the probiotics. Well, too. that's going to fight the sugar. It's going to totally kill the sugar, and you know. Would you say this one's my, better than the uh, the claw? I actually would say this is much better than the claw. Yeah, I, I would definitely uh, have this at, at a party or whatever as a you know end of the night kind of thing. What's the next thing on our menu? I think we're doing the one I can't wait for. We're doing Bourbon County. Mm-hmm. Uh, and we're doing a coffee ice cream with that. And I think we've got a special garnish for it as well. We're going to go ahead and finish these drinks or desserts. Or mm. What do we call these? Booze floats, I rather. Well, we'll be right back. That was surprisingly good. Yeah, I'm not going to lie to you. You know, uh, I think I've mentioned before that I'm, I'm not someone that kind of likes sweet and sour or those kind of mixture of flavors. So I had big reservations on this show doing float with ice cream and something you know like beer so but i was i was pleasantly surprised i actually like that one and my tummy feels real good right now <laughs> that kombucha will work some wonders on your stomach yeah. i'm sure it was those antigens or whatever the hell they were right 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 we're about to use another one bourbon county actually is the people who started the bba phenomenon right. happening with stout beers across the country yeah and so uh this one has been on my shelf for a few years it's a 2017 coming at, in at 14.7 i personally just can't wait let's get started hand me that hand me the bottle opener um and i'll the, get this open and you can talk a little bit about the ice cream we're going to mention the, this one the bougie bottle opener was with the crown on it there it is guys yeah there it is the ice cream we're going to be using today, Jim, which I think is going to be absolutely delicious with it. Guys, we're using Dryers. Again, another national brand. National brand. We, we tried to keep it that way. Uh, we're going to be using coffee. Right. Coffee but if, ice cream. if you can find a, a nice espresso ice cream, I think that would pair really well, too. Actually, I think the espresso might be better. We were having some issues finding espresso ice cream um, in, on a national level. Right, so we right. ended up going coffee. This stuff is black, decadent, it's and already gold. smells absolutely amazing. Oh, Go yeah. ahead, Jim, pour yourself some. While he's pouring it, I'm going to show you what our coffee or coffee ice cream looks like. Uh, this looks as I'd figure it would. We got to leave some for producer Kaz over here. So, even though we don't like to share here on the workshop, no, we absolutely hate to share. <laughs> Oh, that looks delicious. Look at the look at the head on that. So, just so you guys know, stout and ice cream are not foreign. This is no. this is happening all over the place. We decided we wanted to up the game and go with a nice Bourbon County. This is the 2017. It is the annual release, and people lose their damn minds to get their hands on this beer. Right. Uh, there's lines of people at every release uh, to right. get their hands on this beer. We figured coffee would go good with it because it does have a robust coffee flavor. Right. Um, so I'm really excited. Let's go ahead and put notes notes. Uh, 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 Oh, wait. Uh, 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 uh. I'm sorry. Jim decided we're going to garnish. Remember, too. we're bougie here. We're going to garnish with a nice, uh, from Pepperidge Farms, pirouette. It'll help us stir it. Uh, um, and it's, uh, uh, I think, has chocolate in the center. So, you know. I mean, before I take a bite, I'm just going to bite this thing. 
Oh, look at that. Can you guys see that? That is, That's, oh. oh, oh my god, Absolutely gosh. gorgeous. Talk to me, Jim. Mm. Mm. Oh boy. That's Pro so decadent. Producer Kaz, oh. you know, we might draw this out a long time. <laughs> We're gonna torture here, buddy. That this is, is delicious. Absolutely decadent. This is like that fine dessert when you mm. go to that really upscale, bougie restaurant. This is that dessert they bring out, and you're like, "Yeah, wow!" So the the coffee is really robust. You get it on the nose, which applies, you know, which definitely gives you uh, that flavor in the back oh. of your mouth. Yeah, Jim, give me a spoon too. Um, this is really a, a real decadent dessert here. It's very, very, very rich. Very. Um, so you're not going to sit there and eat these all day during the summer months, right? Who, but who are you, you talking a, to? You're talking to me. <laughs> I like my desserts with high specific gravity, too. You know I like my dessert first? Well, you know what I mean, man. <laughs> I like my dessert first, too. So here we go. Oh, this is this is fabulous. So the coffee ice creams are real out of volume. I would say if you could find maybe a better coffee ice cream, or like Jim said, if you could find a good espresso ice cream, the stronger the coffee flavor. Right. I it'll agree. Absolutely. It, it'll better. really bring it out. Oh. What do you call that stick thing? A pirouette? Mm hmm. It's perfect. And at 14.7%, after you've had a couple of these, you'll be doing pirouettes. Yeah, yeah. You'll just be out there spinning around, you know? That's, uh, you know, for some of you less bougie people, that's kind of like a, you know, ballet thing or something, dance thing. The, the, the people with the square toe shoes, that affiliate yeah. thing. I don't know. Look it up. Yeah. Look that up. <laughs> Google it. Jim, if I had to go ahead and rate the the, the three booze mm. floats that we've created today, I'm going to go with number one being, mm. of course, uh, Bourbon County here. Oh, this has got like a nutty. This has got a nutty taste. This uh... Number two for me is going to be the Cherry Garcia. Number three is definitely going to be the White Claw. I'm All gonna... three are very good, and they're definitely engineered towards three different type of people. Right. And I, I say try them all. You know, uh, everyone's got different palates. Uh, my palate definitely likes this one the best. Uh, but you're going to have people at your event or whatever that have different palates. So bring them all and let, let you know, let them decide what, what they like best. You know what? We haven't even came up a name or came up with a name for this uh, particular combination that we've created here. Guys, by all means, help us give a name to all the products we created today. Put those in the comments below. Again, this was Barley Forge, forged to you by none less. The Vert Shop. That's the word shop. What are we getting <laughs> back and forth all the time with these, how we pronounce things? Tomato. Tomato. Gotcha. My name is T. And I'm just Jim. Like. Subscribe. And ring the bell. We'll catch you next time. Cheers. Cheers.